Hello again, this is Eshan. So we were discussing about the general problem where the first part is the Carroll environment can shrink along the avenues so it can uh, the wall can be starting at this location or this location um, and the Carroll needs to move from this location to the end of the wall facing east. Now we have a problem here. We don't know how many steps to move till we get to the end of the wall or the till we reach the wall and uh, we know that we have to repeatedly move here till we get to the wall so we cannot use a for loop because we don't know how many times we want to move uh, and in such case there is something called a while loop which allows you to do something repeatedly uh, until some condition is met. So you can do something repeatedly until something is not satisfied. So in this case the problem is we want to move until uh, as long as the front is clear. So when the carol is here if the if there is nothing in front we will move the carol over here. Then it moves again. Then it moves again. Then it moves again. Then the front is no longer clear and carol moves and stops. Oh, sorry it stops because it cannot move so what I mean is while loop is a condition where you don't know how many times you want to do something and you do it as long as some condition is met and here our condition again is that we uh, our we only move as long as the front is clear and since we are using super carol super carol knows or super carol can find out if there is something in front of him or if there is a wall in front. This is something Super Carol can sense. Just to give you a flavor, Super Carol knows some of these ideas. So let's see, uh, if I double click on Carol sensors, uh, I'm waiting, it doesn't show up. It's taking some time, yes. So it can, uh, what it checks? It can check front is clear which provides an answer yes or no uh, and front is blocked it provides an answer yes or no and the idea is is there a wall in front of carol so we want to use this idea front is clear to create a general way to move to the wall so that uh, we don't have to change our code every time so what do i mean by that so let's do this so what we want is basically we when Carol reaches here facing east, we want Carol to move until there is a wall in front of him. So the idea is like this. We want to create a new Carol command. Uh, it's called move to wall. Void move to wall. And what it does is basically while some condition is true uh, sorry uh, while some condition is true it does something so if the front is clear so while the front is clear it will move so we do move so uh, we go to this image and we say front is clear we use this command which is front is clear so the idea is uh, Carol checks front is clear is it enters the while loop it makes a move then it goes again and checks front is clear if the front is clear it makes another move then it checks again uh, so it is also a kind of a loop but you don't know how many times this m move will happen it will happen as long as the front is clear but how many times it will be clear you have no idea it is just the kind of method that we need to solve our first problem uh, so we use this and if we run our code and we change this to say for instance we change move to wall So it is saying that I did not enter 
a semicolon at the end of for number 46. So I remove this and I put a semicolon. And I remove this and I run this code and I go to Carol new environment. And if I run this code, now you see that Carol moves to the wall and we don't know how many steps it needs to take. So what I mean by that is if I would edit the world now, I put Carol here and I put a wall over here and I save. For example, uh, I sh save it on top of the previous file. Uh, I'm going to replace it and I start the code. I made a small mistake because the beeper has to be here. Uh, edit world beeper goes. I remove this too. I uh, pick the beeper, I place the beeper over. Let's say I place Carol here. I remove this beeper from here. I put the beeper back here and I save the file and I start the program. And you see, even now that we have changed the Carol environment, it is still working. So it's a kind of a general way to solve problems. Uh, so we write a code in such a way that if the problem statement, um, even someone changes the structure, we can still use it because uh, it has some generality. So for example, I edit the uh, don't save, I create a new world. I imagine I edit this world to seven, then I create uh, sorry this thing and I say okay and I create environment so this is uh, short one let's say and it's like this and I create a wall over here um, and I put a beeper here and I save the world and I start the program it will still work I made a small mistake, uh, which was I need to edit the world and uh, put it like this. And I remove this wall. I place the beeper here. I pick Carol, place it here. I remove the beeper from, he sorry, I remove the beeper from here, save it and start the program and you see the code still runs. Nice. So we have solved the first problem. Thank you.